I just need one more day, Matt. Is that all right? <laughs> I'm ready. Yep. For as long as I can remember, I have suffered through anxiety and depression. I successfully managed them in different ways. One was long distance running, and the other, which I recently rediscovered, is my passion for painting. Both provide great benefits, but on a beautiful day like today, I was always torn. Go for a five hour run or immerse myself in painting. So I thought, what if I combined the two things that give me great pleasure? What if I fuse long distance trail running and oil painting? So I did. And I found that these two disciplines play very well together and pro provide astonishing effects. Now, the next slide is a digitally enhanced image of a brain firing in all pistons. <laughs> We all know that regular strenuous exercise boosts brain functions, but what I also found that by combining intense activity with painting, that the components required for me to create passion and pragmatic thinking became linked on a subconscious level. So the first challenge I had was how to pack, carry, and run with the necessary materials and equipment. So I made a list of only essential items, trying to keep the weight to a minimum. Additionally, I wanted to film each trip and share them, so I also needed to pack video equipment. <laughs> now, my first attempt was heavy and awkward. That smile you see on my face disguises the discomfort of the 50 pounds strapped to my back. But I was going to make this work, I said. I'm gonna run, paint, and build brain plasticity while increasing endorphins and serotonin levels. And I never got that on the therapist's couch. <laughs> now, I was excited and nervous about my first trek, and I have to admit that many times going up the steep trail, I thought to myself, this is really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> when I finally took the pack off at 11,000 feet, I could hardly lift a paintbrush, let alone do much painting. But regardless, it was a beautiful day, and I ran and painted. And even though I was exhausted on the return trip with that large masonite board smacking against my butt, I was in the throes of an endorphin high, which generated even more ideas to make the next trip easier and lighter without leaving me completely depleted at the painting site. So back to the drawing board, I did some research and adapted a fellow artist's design for a wet paint box using Eureka foam core that served as both transportation and easel. I shed more weight by using a smaller masonite board, leaving glass jars and pallets in the studio, and by cutting my drinking water in half. <laughs> 10 pounds came off the total weight. So here is the first completed run painting done just below the ridge on the Yerba Trail. I only had one hour to paint that day, and the few unlucky insects who floated their way into the wet oils became a permanent fixture <laughs> of the painting. Sad for them, but I do like having them as insects in residence. So feeling more confident, I decided to go higher and further to Wheeler Peak. I was halted by a view near Mount Fraser and quickly set to work. Now this was the only time that I came close to having a serious accident. That combination of painting under a hot sun mixed with turpentine views caused dizziness and I almost fell off the ledge I was standing on. So I made several more trips to the Wheeler area where I found that the more intense the run, which for me is 10 miles or longer, the more work I accomplished and the freer I became both artistically and spiritually, both on the trails and in the studio. And that freedom transcended, uh, that, that I experienced transcended led me up new trails where I explored different painting, filming, and yes, also running techniques. The joy is pictured here on the Divisaderos Trail were, er, were everywhere that day and they drove me literally absolutely crazy with excitement and I just couldn't wait to paint them. Now, for obvious reasons, I can't always finish a piece in the field, and I always try to exercise before a studio session, which helps me to stay present calm, focused, and for this piece, I really wanted to capture the flowering plant's strength and beauty and grace, which required more paint and time than I had on the trail. So after making several more run and paint trips, I managed to streamline my gear and I felt that I was operating pretty efficiently. I also changed to a gluten-free plant-based diet, which allowed me to stay out longer, require less calories, and have more energy to run and paint. So this image was take 
<laughs> this next image was taken uh, late autumn near Gold Hill, and even though these old miners' camps have long since been abandoned, I sensed some life coming from their collapsed shelters and wanted to bring out what I saw and heard coming from the timber and surrounding landscape. But uh, due to the weather that day, which was very windy and cold, and the location was out in the open exposed, it just wasn't feasible to paint. So I completed this in the studio, working off several photographs that I had taken. I've been doing a lot of intense running up to this point, and uh, it was time for a rest and to come down to the valley to recover and paint, paint out of the car. So this next view is the northwest side of the Taos Pueblo. And even though I was happy with the first painting of the scene, it was just flat. And after weeks, I went out one night with a palette knife and I said, let's go. And we added some energy and I, that I neglected to put into it in, the, in the, the first go around. And I would say that reflects my true energy more than what I've shown you so far. So. It was, wasn't before long that I was back at high altitude where I snapped this self-portrait heading southeast on the Wheeler Peak Trail. And don't you think it's really amazing to see how vast and powerful those mountains are and in comparison to just how pocket-sized we humans are? So based on this photo, uh, this is an unfinished piece. Actually, I was working on it today. It's called Massive Mini Self-Portrait. And I plan on going back up there using lightweight Peshad box that I recently designed and constructed to fit my own needs. And additionally, I'm working on a visual paint, a virtual painting tool that combines GPS technology and pressure sensors placed in my running shoes. <laughs> so the combination of all this trail running and painting that I've done to date has led me to a feeling like as if color is exploding from the inside out. And I do believe that I have finally found the peace and wellness that I've been looking for. 